Hello everyone, welcome back to our prayers for this week. I'm so glad you joined us. I trust you all had a great weekend and a blessed week so far. Today is Thursday. It's kind of strange to be asking how your weekend was on a Thursday. But since last Friday was the last time we met, I think it's appropriate. Welcome. Please don't forget to help us share the link. The link to the platform you are on right now. It's the best way to get the word across to your loved ones. May God greatly bless you for doing so. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for gathering us together to pray again tonight. We bless you for how you've been with us all through the week. I pray that the uh, program of tonight will be a blessing to each and every one of us. Give me the anointing to lead and give your people the anointing to pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And amen. The theme for tonight, many of you already know, kind of strange theme, but very meaningful. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I actually preached a sermon on that a couple of weeks ago, actually maybe a month or two ago. And you can find that on Facebook and on YouTube and on the podcast. But the prayers we are praying today and tomorrow, even though the theme is the same with the title of that sermon, they are not connected in any way. I just love that title. That's why I decided to use it as the theme for our prayers for tonight and tomorrow night. Good readings to bad rubbish. What I want to do is apply that expression to some nuisance that parade around our lives as rubbish and as nuisance. I have to read the connected verses, about three connected verses, to enable you to have clarity on what I'm getting at this week. By the time we read the following three scriptures, you'll be able to get a clear understanding of what this rubbish is that we want to clear off our lives. The first scripture is 1 Samuel chapter 7. I'm reading there in verse number 13. So the Philistines were subdued And they came no more into the coast of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. The second scripture is 2 Kings chapter 6. In verse 23. And it prepared great provision for them. And when they had eaten and drunk, he sent them away. And they went to their master, so the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. Second Samuel chapter 7 verse number 10. Moreover, God says, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before. If you notice those three verses, you will see some similar words in all of them. And I have to pick Point your attention to those similar words. In 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 13, the Bible talks about the Philistines being so subdued 
that they came no more to the coast of Israel all the days of Samuel. Notice that. They came no more. In 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 23, we find something similar. It talks about how the king of Israel was coached to defeat the Syrians without firing a single weapon. And when it was all over, we are told that the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. I'll read the third scripture momentarily. Good readers to bad rubbish. You see how I got that from those verses? The Philistines and the Syrians, they were the bad rubbish that Israel had to deal with. But these two times, God enabled the Israelites to get rid of the bad rubbish. It is that which is very bad, very useless, very awful, that is referred to in the English language as rubbish. And all over the big cities across the world, you'll find all this rubbish that is piled by the side of the road. In my own neighborhood here, we do that every week, actually twice a week. You have to bring all the rubbish in your house that you want the city to move, bring it by the side of the street. They pick up and they leave. The same thing in New York City, the same thing in in Chicago, the same thing in Los Angeles, the same thing in Boston and all over the cities in Canada. You go to Africa, you find the same thing happening in Accra. You find the same thing happening in Nairobi. You find the same thing happening in Lagos, Nigeria. People bring their rubbish out. Whatever they don't, it's too smelly, it's useless. Let's get rid of this. And the city is so kind as to come and pack them away for you. That's what we want to do on this program tonight. And that's what we want to do tomorrow night. Whatever is rubbish, whatever has rubbished you, whatever it is that is useless, awful, very bad, we want God to help us get rid of them. And you know what? As the city of this Individual countries are quick to help their citizens to clean out their rubbish. I think God does much more. That was who the Philistines were. And that was who the Syrians were. I can imagine Israel saying, good riddance, good riddance, when these two Sworn enemies were gotten rid of and could not come to the coasts of Israel anymore. Let alone come into the city to perpetrate their rubbish. You know what? You and I have people, you and I have things that are as pesty as the Philistines, that are as useless troubling as the Syrians. They are like what the Bible calls thorns and thistles in your flesh. And they are like sand in your eyes. The same God who got rid of these thorns and thistles in the flesh of the children of Israel will do the same thing for you. Sin is bad rubbish. I'm sure you know that. Bad habit is bad rubbish. Bad dream of any kind is bad rubbish. Someone coming in the form of a spirit, defiling you and sleeping with you in your dream is bad rubbish from the pits of hell. Witchcraft harassment it's bad rubbish. Of course, anything that has to do with failure, hardship, delay, they all fall under the category 
of bad rubbish. The adversary, like the Philistines, who keep coming again and again and again, fall under the category of bad rubbish. The list of things we endure that fall under the bad rubbish category is long, very long. Listen to this. If it is not good for you, it is bad rubbish. If it is contrary to God's plan and God's will for your life, it is bad rubbish. If it oppresses you, if it depresses you, my friends, it is bad rubbish. If it is the opposite of a blessing, it is bad rubbish. If it takes away your joy, if it takes away your peace, if it takes away your happiness, precious hearts, it is bad rubbish. And I believe it's time to get rid of them all like Israel did to the Philistines and to the Syrians. The place we want to be in God is the place described in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 10. And this is my other verse that I want to read to you. Look at what it says. It says, moreover, I will appoint, I want to listen to this very well, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Hallelujah. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before. That means that God comes. That means that God walks against these forces that walk against us. That means that God stands up and says, enough of the bad rubbish. Let's get rid of them. Let's move them out. Let's break their yoke. Let's just destroy them. That's what God does for us. And I love that scripture. We're going to pray on that scripture before we finish today. God said, I will appoint a place for my people in Israel. Hey, isn't it time for God to appoint a place for you? Seriously. You're being like a wanderer. Isn't it time for God to plant you somewhere? To plant you in a husband's house? To plant you in a wife? To plant you and a wife together? To plant you in a country of your choice? so that you will not be a wanderer. The Bible says that they may dwell in a place of their own. Isn't it time for you to finish the construction of the building you started 20 years ago, so you can dwell in a place that you call the landlord or the landlady, and it says they will move no more. Many of us have been moving from one place to another, moving from one place to another, moving from one person to another. When will my life be stabilized? The bad rubbish around us will not let allow us to be stable. And God is saying to us, I will establish you that you will move no more because I will move out the Philistines. I will move out the Syrians that are oppressing your life. The last part summarizes it all. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more. That is good. <laughs> that is in fact good riddance to bad rubbish. We're going to go and cry to God to get rid of them all from our lives. No matter how long they've been there, God's going to dispossess them for us. You know, like Jabez prayed to get rid of the bad rubbish hanging around his life. That's how we're going to pray tonight. Like Hannah prayed that the bad rubbish called barrenness will move from her life. That's what we're going to pray tonight. Like Esther prayed and even fasted that the bad rubbish named Haman will be gotten rid of. And he was. That's how we're going to pray tonight. 
But Daniel got rid of the bad rubbish of opposition at work. Hey, that's what we're going to do tonight. The Philistines were gone. The Syrians were gone. And I can say, I can say that the children of Israel were rejoicing. And they were saying, good readers, good readers, good readers. That's going to be your testimony. It's your turn to pray. It's your turn to get rid of all bad rubbish. You ready to pray? Well, God is ready to answer. I wanted to thank God for bringing us together another week of intensive praying. Glory be to his name. Honor be to his name. Dominion be to his name. Majesty be to his name. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him dominion, give him majesty. Thank God for bringing us to another week, another week of intensive praying. This time about the rubbish. Is there anything called rubbishes? If there are, it's good English theologically that God will move them all out of our lives. Bless the Lord for how he has kept us since we left here on Friday. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you for how you've kept us. Since the last time we met in this place, thank God for the prayers of last week. I shall not want glory to God. Father, we thank you for what you did for us. As a result of those prayers, the 12 declarations of David that we prayed about and they have been attached to our lives. Father, we thank you because what we say we will not lack. By your grace and by your power, we will not lack them. What we said will be our portion. By the grace of God, they will be our portion. I wanted to thank God for those 12 declarations. They are already attached to your lives now. We want you to bless the name of the Lord for that. We want you to give him the glory. We want you to give him the praise. We want to give him the adoration. God is such a good God. He has given us all the things we said we want. He has given us all the things we said, Lord, by your grace, will we not like this? Will we not like that? Thank him, thank him, thank him, because a decent God like him will not countenance rubbish targeted at any of his children. So thank him for the prayers of this week, folks. Let's thank him. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory that he has led us to another special prayer tonight. All the bad rubbish in our bodies, all the bad rubbish in our in our in our heart, in our organs, in our bodies. Uh, God is gonna just get rid of them for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, we just believe you tonight. Uh, thank Him because He will separate us from everything that looks like rubbish uh, walking in us, walking around us, and walking against us in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Lord, I bless you. Say, Lord, I worship you. Say, Lord, I adore you. That everything that looks like rubbish, walking in me, walking around me, you will get rid of them for me tonight in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray that he will give us the appropriate prayer points that we will definitely need tonight to be able to call on him, to be able to pray to him. Oh Lord, we're looking up to you for special prayer points, powerful prayer points in the mighty name of Jesus that will take us into your plan, into your will, and into your purpose for our lives. Let's come against our greatest enemies. Sin and unbelief I will bring you under the blood tonight. Because if we regard any iniquity in our hearts, we know the Lord will not hear us. Father, we pray for cleansing. Father, we pray for purging. Father, we pray for purification. Father, purge us, purify us tonight in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. If there be anything in us, if there be anything about us that is sinful in the way we think, in the way we talk, in the way we act, we plead the blood of Jesus tonight. We plead the blood of Jesus tonight. I pray that you will cleanse us, you will purge us of any sin of omission, any sin of commission. Oh Lord God, be merciful, be kind, and be gracious to cleanse us and to purge us and to purify us of all sins. Let the enemy not be able to bring any accusation against us as we pray tonight. Oh Lord, let our prayers ascend unto you like the evening sacrifice. 
All unbelief will bring them under the blood. All doubt will bring under the blood. All double-mindedness will bring under the blood tonight in the name of Jesus. Just help us to pray and to pray through. Help us to pray and pray in faith. Help us to pray, believing to see the goodness of the Lord concerning all the rubbish that is in our life. I want you to pray for grace to call upon him with intensity tonight. I want you to pray that God will energize you. God will empower you to be able to pray intensely, even as we call on God tonight in the name of Jesus. Everybody say, blood of Jesus. Yes, everybody say, blood of Jesus. Everybody say, blood of Jesus. Wash away the bad rubbish of sin, the bad rubbish of habits, the bad, bad rubbish of strongholds that are present in my life right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let your blood avail for me right now, even before I go and pray Father, right now we stop, right now we halt, right now we take a breathe and a breathing and a breath by the blood of Jesus. And we ask you that to wash away any bad rubbish, any bad rubbish, any bad rubbish that may be in any of our lives. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, because we know where there is bad rubbish, God's eyes are too pure. God's eyes are too clean. God's eyes are too holy to countenance and sin. Papa, remove them from us, O oh Lord, all bad rubbish of sin, all bad rubbish of evil habits. Papa, approve them, O oh God, from where they have settled upon us, from where they have settled in our lives tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, take them away, take them away, take them away from us. Father, cleanse us and purge us and purify us. Let the blood of Jesus. Father, we cannot pray about other rubbishes when there is this rubbish of sin, rubbish of sin, rubbish of iniquity, rubbish of unrighteousness, rubbish of that is contrary to uprightness in our lives. Blood of Jesus, cleanse us and wash us and purge us and purify us, we pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, we plead the blood of Jesus to wash us right away, to cleanse us right away of the rubbish of sin, of the rubbish of bad habits. Uh, in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus, uh, we excuse sin no more. We excuse bad habits no more. Papa, that's why Jesus died. That's why Jesus came. Uh, so he can cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, for the blood was shed for the remission of rubbish for the remission of sins. Father God, like we carry our rubbish out of our homes and the city comes with their rubbish truck and carries them away, Father, we bring all our rubbish of sin before you tonight in the way we talk, in the way we think, in the what we see, in what we, we, we meditate on. Let the blood of Jesus wash us. Papa, going on the inside of me, going on the inside of everyone on this prayer line tonight and just uproot every rubbish. Throw them out, O oh God, into the truck of, 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 of grace and let it be taken away, O oh Lord God, into the oceans of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Do you know in many cities they take all this rubbish and they take it to what they call an incinerator and in that incinerator what they do is they burn them off. I want you to pray tonight. Say, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, as rubbish ends up in the incinerator and is burnt, let all rubbish in my life, let that be the portion in the name of Jesus. All physical rubbish, all spiritual rubbish, all emotional rubbish, all sickness rubbish, whatever rubbish is rubbish in me, O oh God. Papa, pack them up, O oh Lord, into the incinerator incinerator of God and set them ablaze and set them on fire and burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I pray that the fire of God will cooperate with the blood of Jesus and remove, oh God, into divine incinerator all 
moral rubbish that is around my life and around the lives of everybody on this prayer line and just consume them and destroy them and burn them down. Rubbish catch fire tonight. Oh Lord, let all rubbish catch fire tonight. I summon them into God's campfire tonight. Oh Lord, light your fire and burn them up. All the rubbish that are piled against my progress, all the rubbish that are piled against my life, Papa, pack them up, pack them up, pack them up, and burn them up tonight. People, please open your mouth and pray wherever you are right now that the Lord will gather all the rubbish. That's what we do twice a week in my house. Every week, twice a week, we gather all the rubbish in every room, all the rubbish in the kitchen, and we get more rubbish in the kitchen than anywhere. And we pack them up and we throw them out, and the city comes and throws them out and burns them up. Say, oh Lord, arise and help us tonight. Oh Lord, arise and help us tonight. Visit every room of in our lives. Visit every compartment in our lives. Visit every department in our lives. And gather, 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 gather them up and burn them up. Papa, gather them up and burn them up. Papa, gather them up and burn them up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I saw I summon them, I summon them, I summon them. All the rubbish that are piled up against my progress. All the rubbish that are piled up against my spiritual life. All the rubbish that are piled up against my good health. I summon you, I summon you. Come, 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 come into God's campfire. Papa, burn them up. Let fire come down from heaven and destroy them. Let fire come down from heaven and consume them. All the bad rubbish. Oh Lord God, get rid of them for us with fire. Get rid of them for us by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. All the rubbish that are piled up on the streets of my life. Yes, all the rubbish that are piled up in the nooks and corners of my life. I command you to come now and go into God's incinerator and be consumed and be burnt up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the Philistines were subdued. The Bible says the Philistines were silenced. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, just like they were subdued, just like the Philistines were silenced, all spiritual oppositions to my life be subdued, be silenced, be subdued, be silenced, be subdued, be silenced. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Don't just watch me and look at me on Facebook, please. I know you see me face to face, but I want you to forget my face. Just hear my voice and pray. Those of you on the podcast, those of you that are calling in, it's not time to play with the nails on your fingers. No, 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 no. It's not time to pull your hair. No, no, no. It's time to intensely focus on heaven and say, oh Lord, as the Philistines were subdued, as the Philistines were silenced, I want you to pray tonight. All spiritual opposition to my head, all spiritual opposition to my progress, all spiritual opposition to my prosperity uh, be, be, be subdued be silenced 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 in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost say my father my father say get rid of them for me O lord in the name of Jesus, all bad rubbish bringing pain and discomfort into my life. All bad rubbish bringing pain and discomfort into my life. Father, read me of them. Read me of them. Get rid of them for me, O Lord, by your power. Get rid of them, O Lord, for me by your spirit. Get rid of them for me, O Lord, by your anointing. All bad rubbish bringing pain. All bad rubbish bringing discomfort into my life. Life. Catch fire, 
catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight. I want you to say, Lord, touch me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Say, oh, Lord, my God, say, touch me right now from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Any sickness in my body, people, is bad rubbish. Any sickness in my lungs is bad rubbish. Any sickness in my heart is bad rubbish. Any sickness in my veins is bad rubbish. Any lung. Oh, anywhere in my body uh, is bad rubbish. Uh, anything in my eyes uh, affecting my ability to see clearly is bad rubbish. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, any bad rubbish in any part of my body, clean them out like you cleaned, oh Lord. Uh, the Philistines and the Syrians are for Israel. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say my body, say my body, say my body, be cleansed of all bad rubbish of sickness, uh, be cleansed of every evil deposit of sickness and disease in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there's a prayer we have never prayed on this prayer line I want us to pray tonight because of something that happened just this past week the prayer is this I want you to pray that all the bad rubbish that you are putting in your body before you got saved that want to kill you after you got saved say mercy cleanse them out cleanse them out cleanse them out cleanse them out maybe you used to drink and now there is bad rubbish in your liver. Maybe you used to smoke, and now there is bad rubbish in your lungs. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, overlook my past. Don't let my past destroy my present. Don't let my past destroy my present. Every cigarette that I've smoked, Oh Lord, every drink that I've tasted that are now affecting organs in my body. Yes, I'm saved. I've not smoked for years. Yes, I'm saved. I've not had any strong drink for years. But here I am. The doctors are saying your lungs. The doctors are saying your kidneys. The doctors are saying ah, your, 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 your heart is as a result of the way I live my life before I got saved. Oh Lord, mercy answer for me. Mercy answer for us. Mercy answer for us. Mercy answer for us. Any disease that is upon anyone on this prayer line that came upon them as a result of lifestyle that they leave before they got saved. Oh Lord, flush it out. Oh, flush out this bad rubbish. Read our bodies. Open your mouth, people. Read my bodies. Food that I've eaten, that I've messed up my pancreas, and now my blood level, my blood sugar is up or down because of foods that I've taken without thinking correctly before I got saved, and now it's giving me diabetes. Oh Lord, visit my body. Visit Visit my pancreas. Visit every part of my body and just get rid of every rubbish that is killing me. Oh Lord, all the clogged arteries that have come from eating bad food that is now threatening my welfare and well-being. Oh Lord, is bad rubbish. Every bad rubbish in my health, every bad rubbish in my body be flushed, be cleansed, be flushed, be gotten rid of. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I want you to pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. Oh Lord, read me, read me, read me. Oh Lord, get rid of them for me, oh Lord. All bad rubbish bringing pain and discomfort and sickness and staring me with death in the face. Oh Lord, remove them from me, remove them, remove them, remove them. I want you to pray that all so called incurable disease because of the fast life that you lived before you got saved. And now the doctor said you have to live with this for the rest of your life. God can have mercy. God can deliver. God can set free. Say, oh God of mercy, visit me tonight. Oh God of mercy, visit me tonight. Oh God of mercy, touch me tonight and get rid of every bad rubbish in my system that came as a result of the rubbish life that I lived before I came to know you. Oh Lord, cleanse me. Oh Lord, cleanse me. Let me receive mercy. Let me receive mercy. The mercy that the doctors cannot offer offer me. The mercy that no medication can offer me. Oh Lord, remove the bad rubbish from my body, oh God. I want us to pray that all the bad rubbish that you inherited, inherited from your dad, inherited from your mom. Maybe they all 
also inherited it from their dad and their mom. And now it's in your body. It's troubling you and giving you bad health. I want you to pray tonight. All health problems, all health bad rubbish that is inside your system, that is inside your body. Oh Lord, cleanse them out. Oh Lord, cleanse them out. Oh Lord, cleanse them out. Oh Lord, get rid of them from our system. Touch us and give us a miraculous deliverance. Papa, give us a miraculous deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Guess what the Bible says about the Philistines? It said they came no more. Hallelujah. They came no more to the coast of Israel. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, as the Philistines, this bad rubbish came no more to the coast of Israel. Say, oh Lord, my God, rid me of all that are confronting my life, pestering my life. If you read the Bible, you will find out that the Philistines came again and again and again and again and gave Israel the run for their money. I want you to pray. Whatever is a pest in my life, whatever is that keeps on coming into my life to fight me again and again and again and again. Oh Lord, as the Philistines were banished, as the Philist, as you said, no more to the uh, Philistines, no more in the coast of Israel. Papa, surround my coast with that sign. Surround my coast with no more, no more, no more, no more. Surround my life with no more, no more, no more, no more. Be gone, be gone forever. Be gone, be gone forever. Every affliction, every battle in my life. Oh Lord, let them be gotten rid of. Every bad rubbish, let them be gotten rid off. Say, oh Lord, your strong hand is what I need. That was what the Philistines saw. That was what the Syrians saw. They saw their strong hand of God. Say, oh Lord, let your strong hand be against them. Open your mouth and pray tonight, people. Don't just whisper. Open your mouth and vocalize your words. Vocalize your prayers. Say, oh Lord, your strong arm, let it come down to deliver. Your strong arm, let it be against my Philistines. Your strong arm, let it be against my Syrians. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says God drove them away and they return no more. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, every bad rubbish in every department of my life, let them be gone to return no more. 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 Every bad rubbish, every bad rubbish. Oh Lord, warfare, bad rubbish. Health, bad rubbish. Financial problem, bad rubbish. Let it, eh, let it be gone to return no more in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know what I love about that passage about the Philistines? The Bible says in the days of Samuel, in the days of Samuel, this thing happened. I don't want it to be in the days of my children. I don't want it to be in the days of my children's children. That means they have to carry it over. I want it to stop in my days. Say, oh Lord, in my days, in my days, all inherited bad rubbish standing against me. Let it be God read of by your power. Get rid of them for me by your power. Lord, I don't want to wait till the days of my children. I don't want to wait till the days of my grandchildren. I don't want to wait till the days of my great-grandchildren. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. In my own days. Oh Lord, all standing rubbish. All rubbish standing. All standing rubbish. All rubbish standing. Oh Lord God, against my life. Get rid of them for me by your power. That may be say it may be said in the days of Samuel. You can remove the name of Samuel if you want to and put your name. Say, Oh Lord, I don't want it to be in the name of my son. I don't want it to be in the days of my son. I don't want it to be in the days of my son's sons. I want it to be right here in my days so they inherit nothing. Break it, clean it out, destroy it. Let it never manifest in their lives. You know, sometimes the sickness that is on us, they don't manifest until we are 20 years old, 30 years old. Daddy had it. Grandfather had it. Now your child is just two years old, maybe 10 years old. They are waiting for their time to manifest. No, oh Lord, in my days kill them. So they will not manifest in my son. So they will not manifest in my daughter. So they will not manifest in any of my, uh, my children. No matter how much victory they have had. 
Oh my God. Do you know the Philistines had many, 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 many victories over the children of Israel. But a time came when they were defeated and they could not come back. I want to say, my father, my father. Hey, no matter how much victory they have had in the past against me, oh Lord, let the tide turn against them. Let the tide turn against them as it did against the Philistines. Oh Lord, let the tide turn against them as it did against the Philistines. All wicked opposition make them unable to come near my coast. Open your mouth. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. I said all wicked opposition. All bad rubbish. Let them not be able to come near my coast from now on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, all wicked opposition to my finances. All wicked opposition to my health. All wicked opposition to the works of my hand. Oh Lord, arrest them. Oh Lord, arrest them. Let them not be able to come near my coast. Talk less of coming into my life. From now on, do a new thing. Walk a new walk, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, do it, 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 do it. I'm happy tonight. You know I'm happy? God has the strategy for your victory. God has the strategy for your total deliverance. You know why I said that? God told the king of Israel, he said, just feed them. And he fed them. And they went home and they never came back. That was divine strategy. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Say, oh Lord, give me divine strategy for complete defeat of fall rubbish oppositions in all areas of my life. Oh Lord, give me divine strategy, divine strategy in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Do you know that they never threw an arrow? They never shot a gun and the Syrians were defeated. Why? Because God gave them a strategy. Say, oh God of all strategies, God of all wars, God who knows how to defeat all enemies. Divine strategy is what I ask for. Divine strategy for complete victory over all oppositions to all areas of my life. Father, release divine strategy into my life. Give me ideas of what to do and what not to do in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You know what God told them to do? He said, feed the enemy. Give them food. I want you to pray tonight. Oh Lord, direct me to acts of kindness. You will not believe it to acts of kindness can give you total victory that gun and bullets cannot give you. Say, oh Lord, direct me, lead me to acts of kindness that will rid me of all rubbish in my life, of all people that are rubbish, all rubbish in my life. What is the action that you want me to take? What is the step that you want me to take? Direct me to acts of kindness or any kind of act or any kind of action that will rid me of my enemies. The prophet said to the king, bring them in, don't kill them, oh, just feed them. An act of kindness. And the enemies finished eating and they never came back again. <laughs> oh Lord, teach me what good works will turn into coals of fire upon the heads of all opposition in my life. Because the Bible says if your enemy be hungry, feed him, give him water to drink, give him bread to eat. By doing Doing so, you are heaping coals of fire upon his head. Say, oh Lord, good works in the name of Jesus. Teach me what good works that will turn into coals of fire upon the heads of all oppositions. Teach me to do what they are not expecting me to do. Teach me to take the step that they are not expecting me to take. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the bands of Syria, my Lord of mercy, the bands, they came in bands. The battalions of Syria came no more to the coast of Israel. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, pronounce my life out of bounds to the bands. Say, oh Lord, pronounce my life out of bounds to the bands. In the name of Jesus, of invading armies of this rubbish 
soldiers of these rubbish fighters. Oh Lord, pronounce my life out of bounds. Oh Lord, pronounce my life out of bounds to invading armies, to invading enemies. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let's move to the promise that God gave Israel. Oh, beautiful, beautiful promise. Say, Father, say, my Father. I claim your promise to Israel tonight. Yes, the promise to Israel is to you also. Say, Father, I claim the promise that you gave to Israel. Say, oh Lord, appoint a place for me. Appoint a place for me. God said, I will appoint a place for you. Say, oh Lord, appoint a place for me where there is no rubbish. Appoint a place for me where there is no rubbish. Appoint a place for me on my job. Appoint a place for me in my family. Appoint a place for me in my country of residence. Appoint a place for me in my ministry. Appoint a place for me in my business. Establish me therein. Appoint a place for me where I can be established. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight, people. Say, oh Lord, I need a place. Oh Lord, I need a place. Many of you know what I'm talking about because you know where you are right now. It's not your place. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. Where you are right now is not your place. God has a place for you. Say, oh Lord, appoint a place for me, oh God, on my job. Appoint a place for me in my family. Appoint a place for me in my country of residence. Appoint a place for me in my ministry. Appoint a place for me in my business and establish me. Appoint a place where I can be established. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, so bless me like you bless Israel to dwell in a place of my own and move no more. Did you hear what I said? God said, I will put you in a place of your own and you will move no more. Say, Lord, I'm tired of moving. I'm tired of going from pillar to post. I'm tired of running from rubbish. Israel was going from place to place, running from the Philistines, running from the Syrians. I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray that God will bless you. God will bless you with a place of your own where you will move no more. I know many of you in Africa like to build a house of your own. Tonight, pray it that the Lord will give you your own house. Don't pray for two bedroom. Pray for a place that will be big enough. Not a completed place. So God will give you a place that is big enough, comfortable enough for you and entire family. Oh Lord, bless me, bless me like you bless Israel to have a place of my own to move no more. In the name of Jesus, say my Lord, read me, read me, read me, read me. Get rid of moving from place to place. Oh Lord, get rid of moving from place to place for me. Say, oh Father, get rid of moving from place to place for me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, stabilize me, stabilize me, stabilize me, stabilize me. You know, when you are not stable, you'll be moving from place to place. Let's run here, let's run there, let's try this, let's try that. Oh Lord, stabilize me, stabilize me. Give me a job that is stable. Oh Lord, give me a business that is stable. Oh Lord, give me a country that is stable. Where we say, yes, I'm not going anywhere. I will live here, I will die here. Oh Lord, stabilize me, stabilize me, stabilize me. I want you to mention all instabilities in your life. All areas where you need to be stable. You see people who are married, they are stable in their husband's house. You see people who are in school, they are stable in their college. I want you to pray tonight, wherever you want God to stabilize you in. Say, oh Lord, now is the time. Say, oh Lord, I call on you. Say, oh Lord, I pray unto you. Stabilize my son, stabilize my daughter, stabilize my children. I want you to pray against wandering spirit. And when I say wandering spirit, I mean W-A-N-D, wandering spirit. If that's the best way to pronounce it, say, I reject their mission. Say, I reject the mission of the spirit of a wanderer, wanderer in my life. It is bad rubbish, oh God. I shall not wander around. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I reject the mission of the spirit of a wanderer in my life. It is bad rubbish for me, oh God. I shall not be a wanderer. Maritally, I shall not be a wanderer. Professionally, I shall not be a wanderer. Spiritually, I shall not be a wanderer. In the name of Jesus, 
us in the name of Jesus. I shall be stable in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I reject it. Come on, open your mouth and pray tonight. Say spirit of instability is bad rubbish in the name of Jesus. Say spirit of instability, you are bad rubbish to me. Oh Lord, help me settle down. Oh Lord, help me settle down. Say, oh Lord, settle me down. Oh Lord, settle me down. Oh Lord, settle me down. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Say, I reject the spirit of instability. It is bad rubbish. Papa, settle me down in life. Say, oh Lord, settle me down in life. Settle me down spiritually. Settle me down, oh Lord, maritally. Help settle me down in all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, I want to be settled. Settle me down. I want you to pray tonight. Say, all causes of unsettlement in life. Hey, I know what I'm talking about, oh. Some people, they will curse them that will never settle down in life. And they see they are not settled. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight. Settle me, settle my children, settle my husband, settle my wife, settle my entire family. All causes of unsettlement in my life. You are bad rubbish to me. In the name of Jesus, break and read you and read myself of you. Say, oh Lord, by your mercy and by your grace, I read myself of all causes of unsettlement in life. It is bad rubbish. Father, get it away from me. Break it from me. Break it away from me and return them to where they came from in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, as you delivered Israel from the affliction of the children of wickedness. Hey, that's what God said. He said, I will deliver you. The children of wickedness shall not afflict you anymore. The children of wickedness are bad rubbish. Show. Hey, when they are walking in your life, you just hold your nose. That what kind of smelly, smelly is this? Say, my my Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus, as you delivered Israel from the affliction of the children of wickedness, say, my Lord, my time has come. Say, my Lord, my time has come. Say, my Lord, let my time be now. Deliver me from all areas where I am being afflicted by the children of wickedness. Open your mouth and pray. Say, oh Lord, deliver me. Say, oh Lord, deliver me. Say, oh Lord, deliver me from all areas, oh God, where I am being afflicted by this rubbish, bad rubbish of children of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, let's call them by their name. Say, oh, children of wickedness. I hope you are calling them because they can hear right now. Say, oh, children of wickedness, you are bad rubbish. Oh, children of wickedness in my family. Oh, children of wickedness in my wife's family. Oh, children of wickedness in my husband's family. Oh, children of wickedness in my father's and my mother's family. Oh, children of wickedness, I say you are bad rubbish. That's who you are. You are bad rubbish. Wherever you are operating in my life, be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Say, fire of God, uproot them. 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 them. Children of wickedness, be uprooted in my life. Wherever you are operating in my life, you are bad rubbish. You are causing bad things to happen to me. Be uprooted. In my family, be uprooted. In my, in my, on my job, be uprooted. Even in my church. There are children of wickedness in the church. Oh, hey, they know Bible. They can quote Bible. They can preach Bible. But they are children of wickedness. Oh, Lord. In my church, approve them. In my church, approve them. In my church, approve them. From my children, approve them. Children of wickedness. Oh, Lord. Approve them. Drive them out. Good riddance. I want you to decree that bad rubbish that is called witchcraft dreams will cease from your life from tonight. Say, oh, Lord. Oh, bad rubbish. That is witchcraft dreams. Let them cease from my life. Let them cease from my life. I want you to mention particular dreams that you dream that you know this cannot be of God. Oh Lord, this dream that I dream of masquerades chasing me. This dream that I dream that I'm just running and somebody is chasing me. This dream I 
that I dream that somebody is trying to sleep with me is bad rubbish. Oh Lord, all bad rubbish in my dream. Papa, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Say fire of God, say fire of God. Combine and destroy and consume the bad rubbish of witchcraft activities that are against my life. Say right now, all witchcraft activities that are going on in my life. Papa, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. All witchcraft activities against my life. You are bad rubbish. Witchcraft itself is bad rubbish. Say bad rubbish of witchcraft. Walking against my life. Fighting against my life. Making my life miserable. Making my life difficult. You are bad rubbish. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Say I summon. Oh, I summon. Summon them. Summon them by faith. I summon the spirit of failure. I summon the spirit of delay. As someone, the spirit of hardship, you are all bad rubbish. Be gone from my life. Spirit of failure, spirit of delay, spirit of hardship, you are all bad rubbish. Come and pray about those. Spirit of failure, spirit of delay, spirit of hardship, you are all bad rubbish. Be gone from my life. Be gone from my life. Be gone from my life. In the name of Jesus, be gone from my life. In the name of Jesus, be gone from my life. There's another thing I want us to pray. It's very, very common around us. It's also bad rubbish. Oh, hey, non achievement. Hey, Baba, non achievement is bad rubbish to me. Oh, to my children, many of our children are not achieving anything, they still have to depend on us, even though they are 50 something years old, 60 something years old. They still have to come and rent a room with us. Ah, when you were that age, no, you couldn't live in your parents' house, you were all settled. The non achievement will not allow your children to settle. Say, oh Lord, non-achievement is bad rubbish to me. Approve them from my life. Approve them from the lives of my children. Non-achievement, you are bad rubbish. Be gone, be uprooted. Like the Philistines and the Syrians were uprooted. Be uprooted from my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say adversaries. Adversaries like the Syrians. Adversaries like the Philistines who keep coming back again and again. You are bad rubbish. Be banished from my life. Be banished from my life. Can you pray tonight about things that keep coming? Things that keep repeating itself. Keep things that the Bible says affliction shall not come the second time. But your own it has come the third time. It has come the fourth time because they are stubborn ghosts. Oh Lord, all stubborn enemies that keep returning and violating God's word for my life. Be gone. Be banished. Be gone. Be banished. Good riddance. Good riddance. Oh Lord, help me to be able to praise you. Uh, that good riddance, oh Lord, uh, to bad rubbish uh, like the Philistines, uh, like the Syrians, uh, like what you did for the children of Israel. Uh, Papa, move them out, move them out, move them out. Uh, I want you to pray, oh Lord, whatever and whoever. Come and open your mouth and say whatever and whoever. Say whatever and whoever is opposing the plan of God for your life. Uh, whatever and whoever is opposing the will of God for your life. Uh, they are bad rubbish, oh. Say, oh Lord. Lord, permanently delete them, permanently get rid of them, permanently remove them out of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and let's pray. We are almost finished. Say whatever oppresses my life, say whatever depresses my life. They are bad rubbish, oh Lord. Read me of them, read me of them, read me of them totally and completely. Whatever oppresses me, whatever depresses me. You are bad rubbish in my life. I don't want bad rubbish in my life. I want the goodness of the Lord, the mercy of God in my life like we prayed last week. Goodness and mercy is what I, 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 what I want, not oppression and depression. Whatever powers are being used to fight my destiny, I want to announce to you, you are bad rubbish. Get rid of them for me, O oh Lord. Whatever powers are being used to fight me, whatever powers are standing in my way, whatever powers are standing and in my life. Oh Lord, they are bad rubbish to me. Get rid of them for me, Holy Ghost. Get rid of them for me, Holy Ghost. I want you to pray that whatever is contrary to your happiness, whatever is contrary to your joy, say, Oh Lord, I name them as the rubbish of the Philistines. I name them of the rubbish of the Syrians because they took joy from Israel. They took peace from Israel. They took happiness from Israel. Oh Lord, destroy them from my life completely. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, this 
Philistines will come. These Syrians will come. And every blessing that the children of Israel have gathered, they will uproot and take away. Ah, many of us, they, we have gathered and gathered and they have come to gather from us. Say, oh Lord, whatever, whoever is supposed to blessing in my life, whatever is supposed to blessings in my life, whoever is supposed to blessing in my life, Papa carry them in a basket, evacuate them to the land of rubbish. In the name of Jesus, Papa, in the name of Jesus, whoever is fighting your will in my life, whoever is opposed to your blessing in my life, whatever is opposed to good health in my life, Papa, evacuate them like bad rubbish that they evacuate on the streets of New York. Evacuate them like the bad rubbish they evacuate from the streets of London, from the streets of Accra, from the streets of New Delhi, from the streets of Lagos. Oh Lord, all bad rubbish on my on the streets of my life. Papa, they are opposed to your blessing. They smell in my nostrils. Papa, uproot them and take them out. Let them end up in the rubbish dump. Papa, let them end up in the rubbish dump. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I want you to begin to thank God for answering your prayers. Unfortunately, our time is up, but we'll continue tomorrow. Father, we'll bless you because bad rubbish is not for your children. You give us all good things. You give us all beautiful things to enjoy. That's what you give us. We won't be sleeping with rubbish in the house. No, we won't be sleeping with rubbish on the same bed. No, we get rid of them tonight and we are gotten rid of in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost and all God's people free from rubbish all across the world said amen and amen and amen good riddance to bad rubbish this was part one we will continue with part two tomorrow god willing shall we share the grace as we go and rest for tonight may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow for more freedom from bad rubbish. Good night. <laughs>